Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. And if you're a new viewer, welcome to Pie in the Sky Tours. My channel aims to bring you quality setups, tutorials, tips, guides, and tools. So do check out my other videos too. And please do like and subscribe if you enjoy the content, as it always helps people find my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to get the most accurate real-time live air traffic along with up-to-date liveries using a variety of software. We will be using FSLTL, which is short for FS Live Traffic Liveries, alongside both real traffic and PSXT. The reason we're not going to be using the injector within FSLTL is because it spawns AI traffic with flight plans gathered from Flight Radar 24, and it then hands over the control to the AI engine of Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is not authentic. Since the default ATC is not accurate, You'll notice that there are no go-arounds or diversions, unless Microsoft Flight Simulator AI decides to do so. Although this is okay for many, if you are looking for authentic live traffic, this can be frustrating as it breaks immersion. In order to get the most accurate and up-to-date liveries, I will now go through each specific software and explain how to set it up and explain how they work together in the simulator to deliver the most realistic experience in regards to live traffic and liveries. The first thing you need to do is download and install FSLTL. You simply go to the website, push download by the fly-by-wire installer. Once that's downloaded, you just run the application and you'll come to this screen here. Once you've installed the software, this is the main screen for the FSLTL application. Notice that I've chosen the base models and not the injector. We're just using the base models for this setup. Once it's installed, it will search for the community folder. If it doesn't find it, you must type the full path in the download settings as you see on screen now. And this is how it will communicate with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Once you've done this, you simply click on the Install button on the bottom right. And you can see here on the dialog box, the download is 3.5 gigs. You just click Install. Downloading does take a while, but I have sped this up for the video. Once it's done, you should then check your community folder to make sure you see the file name fsltl-traffic-base and that will confirm that everything is correctly placed in your community folder, ready for the next step. The next step is to download and install Real Traffic and PSXT. Both of these applications work with each other to bring you authentic, real live traffic. For a detailed tutorial which explains how to download and install each software, you can check out my video here. I will leave links to all the videos and software in the description below. And the next step is using the software together. What you need to do first is start PSXT with the desktop item. If PSXT is installed for the first time, it will automatically scan for the liveries and add-on airports. This works fine if the software can find your community folder, just like in the fly-by-wire installer. If not, type the full path in the IPP text box in the PSXT GUI. For more detailed instructions, check out the video I mentioned before, which will explain everything. If you've already installed PSXT, you can check liveries automatic and push the liveries button. This will find and connect all the liveries and airports in the sim. Next, you must start real traffic and select PSXT for simulator in use. This will ensure that real traffic and PSXT are connected. Again, for much more detailed instructions for all this, do check out my installation video, which goes through every step clearly. And the fourth and final step is starting Microsoft Flight Simulator. There are a few things you need to follow in order for all this to work. In the flight conditions, you should set multiplayer to off, air traffic to off. In the traffic settings menu, you should set ground aircraft entity to zero. Also, you should use live weather. The QNH in Microsoft Flight Simulator should match with the QNH in real traffic. And here you can see the software in action. I'm parked here at London Heathrow, and you can see all the details on screen now. It's also worth noting that park static aircraft will show immediately. It might take a minute or two for the live traffic to appear, so be patient. This is a great example of all three software working together to bring you the most authentic, real-time, live air traffic and liveries for Microsoft Flight Simulator. As you can see, using this software together really does bring more realism into Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is the exact setup I've been using, and I'll continue to do so for the foreseeable future. I just love knowing that the traffic in the sim is mirroring the real world, which brings an amazingly realistic element into the sim. And do let me know if you have any questions about any of the software in the comments below, and I'll do my best to get back to you. And please do consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy this content, and don't forget to smash that like button to help support the channel. As always, I hope you find this content useful, I look forward to making the next video soon. In the meantime, as always, take care, and stay safe.